welcome back to the card mat. Right, I think this is an original effect by me. I honestly do because I've never seen this done before and I only thought of it like 10 minutes ago. I did and I haven't even practiced it as you can tell because I didn't practice me shuffle. Anyway, we know there's an eight of spades somewhere in the pack. Let's hope we don't pick it. You'll think it was a force. Right. For this, I'm going to use every magician's four favourite cards. Not my favourite cards, because well, basically, I'm not a magician, basically. But the four aces. And I'll just leave them on the top of the packet, because we want to make sure you do not pick one as you select a card out the middle. And try not to get the eight of spades. It'll look like a force. So you can take any card you like out of the packet. And it's a two of hearts. Nice one, it's not the Ace of Spades. So you can remember your Two of Hearts, because now I'm going to get that Two of Hearts and put that into the packet, into a different place to what it was before you picked it. If that makes sense. Because it was somewhere about there, and now it's somewhere about there, if you see what I mean. Which knackers the trick up for me a bit, because I did have the deck memorised. We just have to see what we can do. Right, my four Aces. Put the packet over there, don't need it. We have got the Ace of Spades, the Ace of Diamonds, the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts. That makes four Aces, does it not? Yes, it does. Well, it did do in my books. The Ace of Hearts, you know, not the Ace of Hearts, the Ace of Diamonds and the Ace of Spades on the top. Where well, hey. And on the bottom, we have got the Ace of Clubs and the Ace of Hearts. Yeah, hey. Now, we know your card is, well, I know your card is roughly about there-ish in the packet. So what I'm going to do is go like this. Like that. Didn't look very good, but it might have done the job. Now, I'm going to use my magic wand. Hang on, sorry. I'm going to use my magic wand. Okay, it's a pen with the top on the wrong way round, as if I'm going to write with it. I know, I can't afford a wand. But, with my magic wand, you can tell about some of them, can't you? Yeah. With my magic wand, I'm going to cast a spell. We're going to go... Izzy, Wizzy, let's get busy. Like that. And then, put that back on so don't put incoming carpet. The magic's done. It is. Look, because if I get this packet now and go like that with it, we can see that in the middle, not where I was pointing before, but in the middle, we have got the four aces. But, Funnily enough, it's not just the four aces, is it? No, because hopefully you can see that there is one card in the middle. Hopefully you can see that. It's not invisible. No, you can see it. Yeah, good. Right, now, the ace of spades and the ace of diamonds, which you knew were on the top. The ace of hearts and the ace of clubs, which you knew were on the bottom. There's now one card in the middle. Can you remember what your card was? Because with all this, I've forgotten what it was. But I'm hoping it was the two of hearts. Yeah. And there you go. A little card mat tutorials, original effect, hopefully. I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Just a bit of messing around with the cards, as I always do. Yeah, don't call me a magician. I just mess with cards. Thank you very much. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it anyway. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Mm -hmm.